Welcome to Latin Per Diem and episode 1 of our series on Seneca's De Vita Beata. Here we see Lucius Aeneas Seneca, who was born in 4 BC and died in 65 AD. We were a Gallio Frater, omnes beate volunt, sed ad pervidendum quid sit quod beatam vitam efficiat caligant. Adeo quid non est facula consequi beatam vitam, ut eo quisque ab ea longius recedat, quo ad illam concitatius fertur, si via lapsus est, quae ubi in contrarium ducit, ipsi volocitas maioris intervalli causa fit. Seneca starts with the object vivera. Now, vivera is an infinitive, and infinitives are verbal nouns, and so this one can be the object, and it is. He says, living, brother Gallio, this of course in the masculine, singular, and vocative, is something that all desire, and they happily desire. And so the object of volunt is vivera. All desire to live happily. So we can take beate, with vivera, or we can take it with volunt. I think it's probably better with vivera. Everyone wants to live happily, but, he says, when it comes to foreseeing, per widendum, or seeing into, what it is which makes life happy, caligant. They are absolutely in the dark. So we have here two verbs, volunt and caligant, and then we have some subordination as well. We have two subordinate clauses. But for the purpose of foreseeing, ad pervidendum, and notice that pervidendum then is a gerundive, and it modifies quid sit quod, etc. For looking into pervidendum, what it is, quid sit, now we might ask why is sit subjunctive? Because it is an indirect question. It's rogatio obliqua, rogatio obliqua. As to foreseeing what thing it is, which makes life happy. Now, why is a ficiat subjunctive? There are a couple different uh, explanations. One is the subjunctive by attraction that some grammar books talk about. Another possibility is that it is a relative clause of characteristic. And I think in this instance, I favor the latter interpretation. What it is, which is the kind of thing that makes for a happy life. Notice efficio here is functioning as a factative, taking two objects, or rather an object and an object complement, the object being vitam, to make life, make it what? Make it happy, beatam. As to all of that, caligant, they are in the dark, they're blind, they are enshrouded in mist, they don't know what it is that make, makes life happy, but everybody, omnes, desires to live happily. Thus far, Seneca is pretty straightforward, but now it becomes a little more difficult. He says, adeoque, and so... It is not easy, consequi beatam vitam. So what is the subject of est? It's consequi beatam vitam. Pursuing or achieving the happy life is not easy, non est facile. Notice that this clause, as the subject of est, has as its predicate a neuter, singular, nominative adjective. Very common. And as uh, achieving the happy life is not easy to such an extent that it happens, here's the result clause, that the more, eo, and quo, these are used as correlatives, the more and the more. The more each man recedes from it further, the more he is carried along toward it with greater excitement, concitatius. Here is a comparative adverb, and we will have to leave the rest for the next episode.